Curiosity is a great thing, but it can also lead you into confusion. Your monkey mind just loves more details. I'm going to talk about the difference between data, information, and wisdom. Hey, it's Sam, and I'm making this video today to talk about something that one of my uh, students just recently asked, and it's a question that gets asked a lot because um, it brings out our need to want to understand things perhaps quicker than we're able. Um, you know, you've probably heard me talk a lot about when students get ahead of themselves and they start asking questions that are more complicated than they're able to understand and it creates a lot of confusion about learning and again this is why like in my courses my certification course especially which is laid out one step after the next I really try to stress or, and maintain that students sort of stay within themselves and not ask questions that are too far ahead of where they're going because what happens is we can really mistake data points and details for mastery. And we start pulling at details before we're able to comprehend them. And so I'll give you an example of what I mean. I actually made a very detailed video about this not too long ago where I talked about the five stages of learning and wisdom and they relate to you know, how data becomes information, becomes knowledge, becomes wisdom. It's like this ladder of integrating detail and taking a detail, which is just a sort of data point, and making it something that is actually wisdom. Um, because there's a, there's a process involved. And one of the biggest problems that astrology students have is mistaking memorizing details for understanding them or comprehending them and this is uh, you know quite an issue so the student asked about um, about uh, about the degrees in astrology signs so essentially you know as we start to learn more details we um, then start trying to connect them, right? And again, it's a great thing, you know, we're curious and we find all, out all these things in astrology that we didn't really even know were, were, you know, even present. Like for example, at first we're excited that, oh, there's these astrology signs, okay? I've heard of signs. And then we start learning, okay, each, each sign, there are 12 signs and they're 30 degrees. Okay, so now it's not just that the planet is in a sign, but it's in a degree in that sign and then we start realizing that based on those degrees different things happen like for example especially in Vedic astrology based on the degrees of the sign you have harmonic charts you have different nakshatras and then of course in all astrological systems even Western astrology the closer the degrees are in aspect that becomes important so the degrees are just as important as they are when you're using them right and for what they show but you're not always using them like if you're talking about the planet in the sign for example you're not necessarily talking about its degree in the sign because it's in that sign from one one second to 2959 it's in that sign right um, so when I answer the student who asked me the question I you know we wind up or I wind up answering things in a way that kind of sounds a little bit glib where I say well it's as important as it is when we're using it but we're not always paying attention to it um, but of course if you're talking about the nakshatra then it's important that it's at that degree and not another degree if you're talking about the aspect for example it's aspecting another planet in another sign then the proximity of the aspect and that and how tight the aspect is is important and that's based totally on the degree and so again in context it's important but it's not always important it's not the only thing that's important and the issue isn't that and and the issue is 
when the question is asked, it's often asked from a point of view where someone says, I've just recognized, you know, I see now that planets are also in degrees. How important is that? Or what's the importance of that, right? Again, it sounds like a reasonable question. I get asked these questions all the time, so it's not an insult. But again, it, the, important, the, the answer is it's as important as it is. And then I'll say, it's important when you're looking at harmonic charts, aspects, and things where the degrees are important. So do you have a more specific example where we can see it? And sometimes a student will even have an example, like this student did, who said, I, I believe it was, they mentioned that, you know, um, I've seen where Mars and K2 in the sky got really close to each other, and when those degrees got really close, it showed the results. And that's how they then noticed, oh, this makes me realize that degrees are important. And then, then the question is, what are the, what's the importance? And so my answer was even, I said, you know, yes, they're important, and they're important in an example like you just used. They're important when they become important. So anyway, the point is, is this. You want to be aware of the illusion that more data points and more detail is necessarily the issue. Because what the student was really asking is, is how do I interpret this? How do I make sense of this? Now that I've recognized there's something else that I didn't know was that important, how do I interpret that? And the answer is you interpret it based on those foundational principles. So I always have to kind of slow the students down and say, look, we're gonna to get to how to interpret details because everything is about the power to interpret it. But you have to then understand what you're interpreting. Just because you know that now you've realized that details are important, like the detail of the uh, degree, it doesn't get you one inch closer to being able to interpret it. I can tell you even when it's important, like I just did, and like I said in general, the details are important when you need to look at details. Or, uh, I'm sorry, the degrees are important when you need to look at the degrees. And then I could give you the examples, like I just did, harmonic charts, nakshatras, aspects, and things when the degrees are important, but that doesn't help you interpret any of it. Because that's really what the question is. How do I interpret this? And how you interpret it is how you interpret everything. You need to learn what each one of those planets are. You need to learn what each one of the nakshatras are. You need to learn what each one of the harmonic charts are. You need to learn how you have to learn to see which pieces you're putting together. Because let's say if it's an exact Mars-Jupiter aspect, and now you've realized they're not just aspecting when they're in the signs, but the closer the aspect, the more powerful. Okay, great. So now you know that. How does it help you interpret it if you don't really even understand Mars really deeply or Jupiter really deeply or the other subtleties that come as a result of that? That's the part that's important because you could even forget the idea that the degrees are so important. Maybe not forget it, but you could not be paying as much attention to the degree and just see that Mars and Jupiter are in aspect. And if you know how to interpret that really well, it's much better than micro-analyzing the degrees and not knowing how to interpret the planets well. So the issue is always with learning astrology that we have to be careful of identifying detail masquerading as some truth or something to be reached for or pulled in. And it, it one of the reasons we do it is because we're curious, but also in, at times, and this is the thing I always have to be careful of with students, and I often have students who do this, but it's also much more fun, and there's a lot of novelty with, oh, what about this, what about this, what about this? That's often a lot more fun than buckling down and doing the hard work of actually learning what you think you already know with a lot more depth. 
because we're always ready to go, oh yeah, okay, I've already done that class, I already know that, now this. And we don't really know it, trust me, we don't know it, until we've gone very deeply into it. I've been studying this stuff for 20 years, <laughs> and I still learn more about planets and signs and houses and gunas and elements. I'm still learning more. So students want to start pulling for something once they get a new detail. And again, we, we have to really resist this as students and as teachers, we also have to make sure to identify that tendency. You know, one of the, and you know, one of the things that I say, it's sort of like a phrase that I put out is that memorization is not mastery, which is another way to look at it. You'll see a lot of astrology teachers and students or whatever who have memorized a lot of details but then you try you hear them interpret it and they don't really have deep interpretation at all it's very surface it's and what happens when you don't interpret things deeply is you wind up with judgments and this is why it can sound so judgmental why astrologers can sound so judgmental if if you don't know how to interpret it with nuance to be able to see the range of potential of quote good and bad and how there's always a divine purpose and if you don't understand that nuance and how to interpret and explain that and first understand it yourself and then be able to explain that then you're just going to be gathering more and more details and you're going to be short-circuiting the depth and the nuance and what happens then is it becomes a judgment like that Jupiter Mars aspect well Jupiter's the good one Mars is the bad one so it's kind of good but not that good because you have a bad thing and you know and you know it could go a little bit more nuanced than that where you might bring in gurus and you might bring in you know the power of Mars to give you know to destroy in a positive way something which often even that's not brought in even that simple level of nuance isn't brought in it just winds up being oh there's a good one there's a bad one but I know that it's an exact aspect and I know it's really tight so I can then say something like so it's going to be much more powerful because the degree is close okay but what does that mean again it's just piling more what sounds like intelligence or wisdom on top of other stuff it's just the surface thing that's not going deep and so again you have to be really careful of data and information masquerading as wisdom it doesn't become wisdom until you can really understand it and explain it so like the example of the student who recognized that the exact um, aspect of Mars and K2 showed something what's more important isn't that the degree that's just a detail what's more important is what happened and how would you explain that Mars K2 what is Mars really deeply what is K2 really deeply it was in the sign let's say of Capricorn what is Capricorn it would fall let's say if you're talking about a natal chart that would fall in in a house in someone's natal chart what is that what does that mean um, it's happening in the context of someone's doshas what does that mean Mars rules certain houses what does that mean this is the the fact that it's that that the degree is important or that as you know that quality is important because you know that as they get closer it's going to be more of a trigger it'll be more intense so to speak but that one detail itself is only significant in context and that's like every other detail so again when we're learning astrology we're learning all of these details they're only meaningful in context they're not everything is not always the most important thing but everything is significant in context so again <laughs> you want to be aware of this idea that just because you're identifying a new detail and again it's not to criticize because we're curious and I do the same thing we all do it this is how we start looking toward the next thing as we're looking toward the next thing we should never abandon going deeper into what we quote already know as much as I already know it I'm still learning myself because those foundational fundamental things are things that are much closer to the truth just like if you want to understand I'm standing next to this tree you know these trees all around me if you really want to understand the nature of the tree you don't examine the leaf you examine the root 
because the leaf is a product of the root. And so you could look at it like, you know, the veins running through the leaf might be the degrees of the signs. That level of specificity when you actually see maybe something happen and you actually see the nuanced, the final kind of nuance. But the roots and, you know, digging into the ground, that's the foundational fundamental things like the true nature of what the planets mean. And again, these things like gunas and elements which are right at the beginning and the qual and the rulers of the signs and the nature of, you know, again, all of the planet signs, houses, that's what makes that tree that kind of tree. Then you get into more granular things like the exact degrees of planets and all of that and aspects and harmonic charts and nakshatras and again all of it is significant but we have to be careful not to reach for details without integrating quote the basics the easy stuff the easy stuff is not easy it's often buried and subconscious and hard to access and it requires us to really ponder a lot of things and many of them aren't even astrological many of them have to do especially like with the way I teach which is to connect us with the living forces astrology is not up there stuff moving around it's actually in here it's the karmic evolutionary emotional psychological spiritual forces of life and physical and how all of that is connected and so again you're only going to understand a certain amount of this based on your level of awareness <laughs> I mean your level of awareness so you're only going to understand those spiritual nuanced qualities relative to your spiritual awareness and so uh, again often we stay on the surface and we think we got it already this is one of the you know this is another kind of I did a video years ago called the I got it already syndrome I might do it again but especially our ego is always ready to latch on to something as soon as we get this much information oh okay I got it now I know what that is okay now next thing that's what the ego does that is literally the ego and that's what it's there to do it's there to identify you know dangers and things that could harm us and things that can help us it's literally the animal trying to survive that's what the ego is and a lot of our intelligence at least on the surface is geared that way oh okay I know this I know this this is why a lot of our relationship even with astrology at first is something that can help us because that's the way we are and that's fine but going deeper means we have to go deeper and really ponder and start to research things that are within our grasp it's great to be noticing exact degrees and start looking at this everywhere start looking at exact degrees planets in your chart start looking at exact degrees when planets in the sky move over a planet in your chart and notice how when it gets closer to the exact degree how you feel it more that's what exact degrees are in the natal chart but again also notice that the exact degrees of a sign means that it's in this nakshatra not another one notice that notice harmonic charts again that's more subtle because it's harder to know how to read them all that complexity comes but again with every concept the other thing is this to really understand it you have to practice it so this is why what I tell the student is what I told them was right was was yes you already saw one of the examples of exact degrees so take that principle and apply it everywhere and I say I don't tell them to listen to my words I say apply it and you'll see it work because exact degrees are extremely important but they're extremely important when they become important somebody has planets you know in Libra and Jupiter is going through Libra it's going to be influencing it as soon as it enters Libra but it's going to be influencing it even more the closer it gets and I say influencing it more is just a general statement how does it influence it well that means you have to then know how, what Jupiter is you have to know what planet it's influencing you have to be able to explain that you have to be able to explain Libra you have to be able to un explain the house that the planet is in you have to be able to explain the house that Jupiter rules you have to be able to explain the houses the planet rules this is what makes it meaningful not that you've identified that it's getting closer because of the degrees that's just a detail 
the detail gets you maybe an inch closer to understanding it and being able to explain it because you don't even really understand it also until you can explain it so notice this notice this concept of details masquerading as knowledge and certainly masquerading as wisdom because knowledge is a level up from detail you have detail then you have like memorizing detail where a detail becomes like data or something then knowledge which means it's something that you know okay now you know that degrees are important okay that's just knowledge or information knowledge means that you can now sort of know it for certain because you've seen it at, at work a few times but it doesn't become wisdom until you interpret it over and over again and it's something that you're absolutely certain about <clears throat> and this is why when you become knowledgeable of something think of something that you know something that you're knowledgeable about and I mean something that you know something that you know like I know this thing I'm telling you I'm a hundred percent confident in what I'm saying because I know it it's knowledge <laughs> just like the things that I talk about with astrology I'm not wondering about it I know it it's knowledge or it, it's knowledge that has become wisdom see what happens is when something is wisdom then you speak about it as knowledge like you know it is so clearly that you you're not wondering okay you're you're totally certain because you've seen it over and over again that's when it becomes wisdom and then you can teach it to others see there's sometimes people have knowledge but it's not yet wisdom because they can't teach it when someone can teach knowledge it's because they have wisdom wisdom is above knowledge knowledge is here wisdom is above wisdom is okay this knowledge has become something that is certain now there's back and forth about how much of that gets mixed with ego and whatnot but again you can see the pure knowledge that a person has in how wise they speak about it and how certain they are and how certain that wisdom holds up or are they just still kind of reaching and is it full of opinion this is a different subject I don't want to get off on but the important thing to know here is this kind of incremental relationship that people have with mistaking data and identifying details with the expectation that that's going to get you much closer to wisdom or knowledge when it doesn't it doesn't it's just a data point it's important in the sense that it's important it's only that important and the presumptive the presumptive questions that arise like well what about this which I get all the time I have to tell my students be careful because what about this is not really a question it means you don't really understand because a question is more specific like how do how do you interpret this aspect blah 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 and again if someone were to ask even that how do you interpret it I would say let me hear you try first again because if and then when someone says well I don't know it's like right you don't know even to say how do I interpret this Mars Jupiter aspect and then just say how do I do it I'm saying well first let me hear you try and they don't and and they don't they don't understand at all I'm like right so you need to go back and actually learn more about Mars learn more about Jupiter learn more about aspects then give it a shot and of course in my certification course I have the material there so they can go learn it and then give it a shot so <laughs> I thought it was an interesting opportunity because I have some great students and they asked me great questions and I thought this was a chance to share this very important misunderstanding that astrology students have with identifying data points wondering why it it's confusing wondering how to bring the knowledge out or the wisdom out in that and also just getting ungrounded and getting very far away from the truth even though they've connected and and you know identified a lot of data and this is in fact even the bigger problem is there's so many especially on internet now that there's so many videos that just again I talk about all the time snacking and this illusion that because you've heard this astrology teacher say something now you 
understand it. And yes, I know there's millions of videos now and you've watched millions of them and so now you have millions of pieces of data so that can really masquerade as knowledge. Again, there's so many now truly under the illusion that they have a clue <laughs> because they're digesting so much of this but it's just all these little data points and they don't connect deeper and this is the disconnect and by the way just this last thing and it might it somewhat sounds a little insulting but this is what all mammals do that's just your mammal brain every any monkey can do it your brain is a little more sophisticated than a monkey it can handle a little it, it can handle more data but it's the same thing that a dog does or a cat or a reptile even it's not even I mean it's also reptile but it, it's mainly the mammal brain that identifies it's the same thing that lets your dog recognize that this is food and this is something else or other things like this toy is that thing or this person is that person it's just data it's just pattern recognition and data it, there's nothing there's nothing to be excited about frankly there's nothing there's no reason to think you've accomplished anything <laughs> by recognizing another data point okay honestly I mean and that's the point it sounds a little insulting and it shouldn't but it's just true there's no reason to think that because you've identified and I'm and I mean even complicated data oh well what about this yoga I know this and I know this nakshatra has this and this pada padas are the big thing everybody's going crazy about this pot of this and that, this, this. If you can't explain it and you don't understand it and it's just more data that you're picking up, you shouldn't feel like, oh, I know so much now. You probably don't. You're probably more confused than ever. <laughs> Honestly. And so, again, this is why I teach courses that actually teach people how to use the data, <laughs> not just keep gathering more of it. <laughs> okay, so we'll leave it at that. And, um, I honor everybody's interest in astrology and am there to, um, you know, help people learn more. So, there you go.